Hi there. Today we're gonna talk about bridge grafting. Here we can see a tree which is attacked from a type of water. As you can see the bark is peeling away and therefore we need to let it live as long as possible. Obviously this procedure isn't everlasting on this tree but if it was another tree without so much damage maybe we could have saved it. So let us see how we make a bridge grafting. So here we have the fig and we're gonna bridge this with this so we can have a new line which will provide water etc. So let's start we have to cut an upside down T here to make way for the graft to succeed. Here we have this one below is an already growing branch from below from below the disease so we're gonna use that. So what we have to do is we're gonna slice here. Let me zoom in. We're gonna slice here in the form of a T. And we'll open it up. Usually the bark will peel away without any difficulties. And there it is. We've peeled the bark away. I'm gonna use this scion, uh, this rootstock. So what, what what I'll have to do is remove the point, measure it up, and peel it, peel it away. The longer it is, the better. So we'll just insert it beneath. Here, let me remove a bit of the skin so we have contact and we just insert it inside of here. Then we have to tie it down. As you can see, it springs back out. Usually a bit of masking tape will do the trick. It will spring back out. So let's start with the masking tape. The first piece will keep the branch less springy so that we have time to work with it so next we'll tie this inside We'll give it a couple of more ties. And all, then all we need to do is paint it with tree paint. But before that, let me close down here below beneath the branch and the tree trunk, so we'll close it with a V. And then we cover all with paint, wound paint. Let me bring the paint. So we are back and we can paint it with the tree paint. I'm gonna use a silicone paintbrush because it's easier to clean afterwards. 
So all you need to do is cover it up all around it and then remove any side shoots from the next growth. This will help us propagate the tree and get out a few more cuttings from it that we can help not losing this type of fig. This type of fig for me has a sentimental value. It was planted by my grandfather and thus I will try to save it as much as possible. I am propagating some cuttings but I won't be sure if they are successful or not. So it's best to elongate the lifespan of this tree till we can. So this method will help us surpass the disease part of the tree. Let me zoom out. And therefore the tree may survive for a longer period of time. If I have more cuttings I can do rootstocks. I can move, move make more bridge graftings here and there around it. So it will have more support and water passing through its bark to say it in simple terms therefore we are joining the system thus keeping the bark alive and therefore the tree will remain alive it will survive a bit but it won't be at its best health if it was breached from either side in three points for example one two and three it would have been better than one point i just did this just to show you the method hope you enjoyed this video if so give us a thumbs up and please subscribe